Hey YouTube fans, Bob from Gill Skills here. Is your Apple device running slow or freezing up on you? Are you in or have you been in a situation where your Apple device stops responding? I'm going to show you a few troubleshooting tips that can help you get your Apple device back up and running again. Stay tuned! <laughs> So the first thing we're going to look at is if your Apple device is either frozen or will not turn on. And when I say will not turn on, it means that you and I both know that you've charged it up and for some reason it just will not turn on. So the first thing we would want to do is get a device. Oh, sorry. A device. In this example, I'm going to use an iPod iPods, iPads, iPhones all operate off the same iOS system. So the technique is going to be the same. So with this device here, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just for demonstration sake here. And we're going to pretend it's frozen. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to pretend for the moment that it is frozen right so in order to unfreeze it or to try to turn it back on what we're going to do is very simple we're going to press and hold both the power button and the home key simultaneously for about 10 seconds one two three four five six it did it a little sooner than i thought so what we're doing here is we're simply simulating a battery pull, and this forces the device to power cycle. Most of the time, this will resolve any freezing or powering up issues that you may have. As you can see, it's turned off, and now it's turning back on again. Okay, so the last step that we just took should resolve any freezing issues that you may have if the device is non-responsive, if it's on and non-responsive. Uh, if the device is off and you're simply trying to turn it on and you know that it has a charge and it did not turn it on using this method, you can actually take it to the next step by trying to put it into what's called recovery mode. Um, you'll need two components here. You'll actually need iTunes up and running and you'll need the latest version of iTunes on your computer as well. So that's something that we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and get iTunes running. And this is the absolute last step that you want to take because essentially what's going to happen is, is the uh, iTunes is going to replace the operating system in your phone. It's going to completely wipe it and take everything out. So it's going to be a brand new device once all is said and done with a fresh operating system installed. So now that we've got that up and running, let me show you the next step. So in order to get this into recovery mode, it's very straightforward. If the device isn't functioning, if it's not responding, uh, simply press and hold the home key for about 12 to 15 seconds. And then, while continuing to press and hold the home key down, you're going to want to plug it in to the computer via the USB sync cable that comes with the device itself. So I'm going to emulate that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'm plugging in while pressing and holding still. Continue to press and hold as it powers on. And now you can see that the device has the little sync cable on the bottom. It's got the iTunes logo in the middle. This is now in recovery mode. So what's going to happen in a second or two is iTunes is going to register 
that this device that's connected to it is in recovery mode and it's going to prompt you for the steps that you'll need to take in order to update and restore it back to original factory specs. Okay, so this comes up when you connect your device to iTunes while it's in recovery mode. It says there's a problem with the iPod, iPod Touch and requires it to be updated or restored. So what you're going to want to tap on is restore. And there's a few more prompts that iTunes will take you through and it will start the process. It may take a while because it's going to download the entire operating system to iTunes and then iTunes is going to automatically uh, wipe your phone, install the new operating system and get the device ready for setup again. Uh, I do not want to do this with the device that I have here because this is my son's device and I don't want to erase all the content on there and there's nothing wrong with the device anyway. <laughs> I'm just uh, explaining this to you for demonstration purposes. So that's what it looks like and then just follow the prompts and you should be able to um, get the device updated and restored. Just remember that it will wipe your device so you want to make sure everything's all backed up on the cloud. So now what if your device is working okay, but it's running slow, and it stutters, and uh, you really don't like that. So you really want to know some tips and tricks on how to speed your device back up again. Normally, this equates to two things. One is apps running in the background. Not a lot of people know this, but if you start an app, like, for instance, if I start an app like this, and you just simply press the home button to get out of it, it'll take you back to the home screen, but that app is running in the background still. So if you're over the course of time, say opening 20, 25 apps, and you don't close them, they're all running in the background, and that is going to slow down your phone dramatically. So a quick trip tip, excuse me, as far as... Um, Resolving this issue is just simply taking the home button and double tapping it twice. And what that's going to do is it's going to open a window similar to this. And this here is where all of your apps are running and this is where you can kill them. So all you got to do is just simply swipe up with each one, like so, to shut those applications off. And you can see there's quite a few that were up and running here. And that's it. I just killed all the apps on this particular iPod. Um, so nothing is running in the background currently. So the other thing that can um, cause issues with the functionality of the device is memory. Um, we all like to download our music and have our pictures and videos and all that fun stuff on our devices. But we forget at times, um, you know, that the device has a finite amount of memory and eventually it will fill up. So in order to check that on the iPhone or iPod or iPad, you just simply go to settings, go into general, and then about, and then see where it says capacity? That is the amount of space that is available for you to use up um, that would be on the hard drive minus the operating system itself. Available is what is left over after all the stuff that you put on the phone, whether or tablet or whatever, um, whether it be apps, pictures, videos, MP3s, or what have you. As you can see here, my son's got 12.6 gigabytes of capacity and he has 855 megabytes available, so his memory is almost full. So he's going to start experiencing issues too. So what you can do to fix this issue is you can offload, uh, you can offload your stuff to iCloud if you wanted to. You can connect your device to the computer, and you can offload pictures, videos, and things of that nature onto that to free up space so that your device has enough memory to actually go through the basic functions like um, being able to use your phone or being able to text message or uh, any, any of those sort of things. And that's it. 
Those are the tips I have for you in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.